black person in the United States is going to stand up. We're tired. That is Jacob Blake's father speaking to tens of thousands today at the March on Washington. It was on this day in 1963 that Dr. Martin Luther King delivered his celebrated I Have a Dream speech. Today, his son followed in his footsteps and urged everyone to make a difference by voting. The strength must be exercised by more than rhetoric and more than marching. The simple challenge before us is that everyone can cast a ballot and everyone who can must cast a ballot. And that ballot that is cast must be counted. That November vote has America divided more than ever. President Donald Trump accepted his party's nomination last night at the Republican convention, but he ignored the growing calls for change and focused on claims that electing Joe Biden would bring lawlessness to America. Tonight, Jackson Prosco looks at how the campaign between two very different candidates could play out. A night of defiance from the White House lawn. The fact is we're here and they're not. As Donald Trump accepted his party's nomination, hundreds gathered outside the fence to protest his presidency. A preview of a coming campaign that will look like no other before it, amidst a raging pandemic, an economic collapse, and a nation on the march over systemic racism. These things are things are touching people on a daily basis. And so for that reason, I think it's really different because it really hits home with everybody in the United States, not just a few people who might be adversely affected. Donald Trump and Joe Biden agree on only one thing, that the very future of the country is at stake. This is a life-changing election. This will determine what America is going to look like for a long, long time. And this election will decide whether we will defend the American way of life or whether we will allow a radical movement to completely dismantle and destroy it. It's Trump who finds himself in a bind, down in the polls, and left to argue that America under Joe Biden would suffer from the ills that arrived under Trump's presidency. No one will be safe in Biden's America. Biden faces the challenge of being a traditional Democrat at perhaps the most untraditional time in American history. This campaign isn't just about winning votes. It's about winning the heart and, yes, the soul of America. A stark choice for voters when so few remain undecided. Both campaigns know that they have a strong base that really wants nothing else than to defeat the other guy. The election may come down to who shows up at the polls, driving both men to strike fear into the hearts of their supporters that if the vote doesn't go their way, the country might never recover. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.